My garbage hasn't been picked up in three weeks and our bill is paid and they keep saying, oh, we're going to come this day or this day. And I already went on a whole Snapchat rant, but like really irritated today, guys. Hey, vapers. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the E-Leaf iStick Pico 21700. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, today I am looking at the iStick Pico. Yes, there is another one. This one is the 21700, and I do have a kit for a giveaway, so if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned for that. But let's dive down close. I'll show you what comes in the kit and how to work the device. Here is the packaging that the iStick Pico 21700 comes in. Open it up and right on top we have a warning card about the safety of the battery, an attention card about the coil, and a reference chart on the back. Here we have the iStick Pico 21700 mod, the LO tank, and a 4 mil extendable glass tube piece because this is a 2 mil tank. Underneath that we have a micro USB to USB cable used for charging and upgrading firmware. There is a battery sleeve to use 18650 batteries inside the mod. This bag contains extra O-rings, an extendable air pipe for the 4 mil feature, and a different style drip tip. We have an extra coil here. This is the HW1-C. It is a single cylinder coil that is 0.25 ohms. A quick start for the LO tank. A user's manual for the iStick Pico 21700. And I still have yet to figure out what this feels like. It's like a little thin magnet, but it's come in a lot of the e-leaf products and I don't know what it's for guys. Here is the Elo tank. This is the two mil version. You can use the extenders to make it a four mil. This one is pre-installed with the HW2 dual cylinder coil. It's a 0.3 ohm. Spin off the base to change out the coil. Here's the coil. Now it does have a ceramic wrapped wick system for heat preservation. So there's ceramic on the outside and then cotton and then the coil. And to change the coil, you just spin the coil out of the base. There is a 510 pin at the bottom and a double airflow slots on either side that are adjustable and on a stopper. We have a removable drip tip because it does come with two styles. Oh my gosh, the O-rings are still tight because they are brand new. So it's kind of hard to get that off. Now to fill it, you can see that it clearly says open right here. So you just press back and it slides open to reveal a fill port. That's where you fill it. And then you slide it closed. On this side, it says E-Leaf at the top of the tank right here. And I am going to fill up this tank today with Bonsai Vapors Seasons Collection. This is their winter edition, one of their winter flavors, Summit's Kiss. It is so freaking good. It's a red velvet peppermint cake. And if you use my code TIA20 at Bonsai Vapors website, you can get 20% off your order. And I just want to mention that this is a nice wide fill port that it is easy to get the end of the pipette in there with no mess. All right, so I got e-liquid in there. I'm gonna let that wick up. Here is the iStick Pico 21700 mod. This does come in green, black, silver, brushed silver, gray, or this hot pink color. The mod is 51 millimeters by 26 millimeters, and with the tank on it, with the four mil extension, it's 119 millimeters tall and without the battery this weighs about 150.4 grams and I say without the battery because it does come with a high drain 4,000 milliamp hour battery 30 amps here and this is the battery that they include in the kit. You can see down at the bottom of the battery shaft there's a plus for which direction you need to put the battery in and a minus on the top cap. If you were using an 18650 battery you would just put the 18650 battery in and then this sleeve like so. And press down and spin to get the cap, the battery cap on. Now here at the top we do have a 510 connection, 510 threads here, and it sits a 25 millimeter tank on it within the diameters perfectly. On the side we have the fire button and a 0.91 inch organic LED screen. We have a micro USB port used for upgrading the firmware and charging. Here on the bottom is the minus and plus regulatory buttons, or depending on how you look at it, plus and minus, with some battery venting holes. On the back it does say e-leaf, 
on the front it does say iStick Pico 21700. So it appears that the battery included has zero charge. The mod will not turn on so I'm going to use another 21700 battery in hopes that this one has some juice in it. It does! <laughs> so five clicks to the fire button will turn the device on. And then it does display at the top the battery life, then the ohms, but there's no atomizer attached, so it's reading zero. Below that we have the working voltage and the working amps. Here we have the power level and the power mode, so it's at 100 watts. If you try to fire it without an atomizer, it says no atomizer found. If you press the fire button three times, you will switch the power mode or output mode, whatever you want to call it. We've got the bypass mode. We've got temperature control for nickel. Temperature control for titanium. Temperature control for stainless steel. A memory mode one. Memory mode two. Memory mode three. And back to wattage. This does go from one to 100 watts, which is 0.5 volts to nine volts. Now, when in wattage mode, the resistance range for this is no lower than 0.1 ohm up to three ohms. And in temperature mode, the resistance range is no lower than 0.05 ohm to 1.5 ohm. Temperature mode, this goes all the way up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and all the way down to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. If you click the down button one more after you get to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it kicks it into Celsius, which at the most is 315 degrees Celsius, down to 100 degrees Celsius. Again, if you push the minus button from the lowest Celsius, it kicks you to the highest Fahrenheit option. Let me put the LO tank on top. It's been wicking up, so it should be good to go. Yes, let's have a vape. Do you want to vape it? Do you want to vape it? All right, guys, Ooh, it's getting vapey in here. That is the iStick Pico 21 700 kit. Now you can get this kit for around $50 or you can enter my giveaway for it. And all you have to do is before entering, make sure to read all the giveaway details in the description box below. But all you have to do is leave a comment and tell me which iStick Pico has been your favorite so far, which iStick in general. There has been so many iSticks out there. I think my favorite would always be the iStick Mini because I just fell in love with that one when it came out couple years ago. It's the tiniest little mod ever, but that's my favorite eye stick. So let me know what your favorite eye stick is. Even if you don't have one, which one is the one you would most want? So yes, this is extremely similar to its predecessors, only it can hold a 21700 battery or an 18650 battery, and that makes it nice. I feel like 21700 batteries aren't as popular in, in every single vapor's home as is an 18650 battery. Well, like advanced vapors and like people who've been vaping for a long time would probably have 21700 batteries, but like new beginner vapors, it's all about the built-in batteries or the 18650s. And I vaped on the LO tank before. However, I think that these coils might be a little bit different from the ones that I've used before because it does have that ceramic heating system. Whew, clouds, bitch. Now, of course, this has protection features like a dual circuit protection for overcharging, over discharge, and over current, as well as reverse polarity protection. And I think having protection features on mods is super important for most vapors. I know that there's mech mods out there that don't have protection features for advanced vapors who want to mess with that, but I kind of steer clear of that if you haven't noticed by all the videos on my channel, which mainly consists of regulated devices. So yeah, as mentioned before, this does have upgradable firmware, and I was just looking at the eLeaf website, there is a link that you can use to download to where you can put your own customized logo on the screen, which I think that'd be pretty cool. One of these days I'm gonna have to sit down and try it out and go through it and show you guys how to do it because I think that'd be pretty cool. But I know that's gonna take a little bit more research than just getting right online for me. Now, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with the buttons on the bottom, the regulatory buttons. I love it because you can't push it. Like, when you're vaping it, you're not going to mess with your up and down regulatory buttons at all and the power level that you're at. But also, it just, it's kind of awkward because you can't just freely, oh, you have to like, you know, it's just, it's a little just awkward. So it's like awkward placement, but also smart placement. 
So yep, that is the iStick Pico 21700. So don't forget to enter the giveaway or check the link below if you want to check it out and not wait to see if you're the one lucky winner out of hundreds of people that are going to enter. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. I've also set up a Patreon account where you can go check out my monthly vape-related rewards over there. Some of the top tiers include getting a used mod and or e-liquid from me monthly, so if that's something that might interest you, check for the link below. And one more thing before you go, I hit my elbow. <laughs> If vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>